Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Israel, Czech Republic, the UK, Spain, and Denmark are all removing restrictions, including vaccine mandates, even though they have a lower vaccine, vaccine rate than we do here in Canada. Saskatchewan and Alberta provincial governments have also announced plans to remove their restrictions. When will the Prime Minister follow our international allies, follow the science, follow the expert advice, follow the premiers, and give Canadians a plan as to when he will remove the federal travel restrictions here in Canada. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, throughout the pandemic, different jurisdictions have handled things differently every step of the way, whether it's jurisdictions across the country that we've been there to support or different countries that have had much worse outcomes in some cases, much more, many more restrictions in other cases. The reality is we will continue to do what is right for Canadians to keep people safe as we get through this pandemic. And yes, I understand how frustrated Canadians are, how much we need to see an end to this pandemic, but we can't do it by decree. We can only do it by continuing to trust science and getting people vaccinated. Here, here, here. The Honourable Member for Grand Perry Mackenzie. Well, Mr. Speaker, that's the problem. There he goes again, refusing to answer the question. He, it seems he'd rather wedge, divide and stigmatize fellow Canadians. The problem is, is that Canadians are better than that. They're sick and tired of his here. divisive games. They have done their part and they deserve to know when Canada will follow our international allies and end our restrictions. On what date will the restrictions end? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Canadians have done their part. They've continued to step up and get vaccinated to a higher percentage, mind you, than the Conservative caucus has. They've continued to follow public health advice. They've continued to be there for each other, to lean on each other. And now we see the Conservative Party continuing to egg on its supporters to shut down border crossings, to encourage its supporters to blockade downtown Ottawa because they're upset they lost an election. Mr. Speaker, we're we're going to continue to focus on supporting Canadians, on keeping people safe, and on vaccination.